Hey guys, Art Decline here, Average Picker. I figured we'd uh, try to get a challenge lock picked here. Um, this one is one of the ones Squint sent me, and it's by somebody. I apparently tossed the key out of eye shot. <laughs> so, let's see if we can get it picked. We'll resolve who it is. This is gonna go quick. I wanna get outside and kind of do some work on the motorcycle before it gets too dark. Okay. Okay, ooh, there we go. Oh, that was subtle. Okay, something in the back. Uh, maybe a T-pin or something with some steps to it. Took some really light tension and it dropped into a tiny bit of a false. No real clicking. If you want to know what that move was, that was me being lazy, checking the first pin. Instead of backing the tip all the way out, I thought I would just nudge up with the uh, tail end of the pick and see if it was uh, feeling any resistance. Am I to not pull the pick all the way out of the lock? Okay, a little bit more movement. Yeah. Just we're in our oh there there we go. Okay. It's gotta be about ready to tip over. It's uh There we go, there we go. Very subtle, very, very subtle there. The whole thing had kind of a subtlety to it. So back the camera up and tilt us a little bit and then I'm gonna have to go on a Hopefully we won't relock this, let's see. Like it's been a minute. I feel I feel so out of practice on picking. Um, yeah, for kind of a minute, not really quite felt. Have I already peaked? Is that what it is? Have I already peaked? Then I hit my peak, and then oh, do we need a shim? Let's try it without one. Oh, very very cool looking already. You can see just in the core. Got for one. Ooh, got kind of a top spool in one. We've got kind of a pin that doesn't want to come out in two. There we go. Serrated guy. Ooh, very tiny. Big lift on him. I think we got a with a little serration. I think four is a pin and pin. Yep. Yeah, we got a little pin and pin. I like pin and pins are so cool. I've only made a few. Shied away from them a little bit after uh, after the accident where the drill bit <laughs> went into my finger. Uh, let's see, got anything going on up here? Not that I can see. 
Yeah, nothing. Yeah, hopefully Squint's happy with the stuff I sent back. He's a... Uh, I sent about four of my own, too. It, uh, it did some it kind of experimental. It's a little bit of a deviation for me. Oh, is, is this a pin and pin? Let's be careful how we pull him out. No, just a little tiny T-pin. Wow. Yes, I was, thought I was feeling this kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, well, he's like slightly rounded off. Jeez. Yeah, I kind of did a little deviation from what I normally do. The ones I sent him that I had made. Kind of the opposite, really, of this one, too. I try not to do any reduced diameters on the ones I sent him. No core modifications and no diameter reductions. Yep, a little T pin element on a spool. And just, wow, oh, it's not quite a standard in six, but. Okay, we've got a stuck one. Shift those over. And I don't think we've got anything going on upstairs. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with. Yeah, we look good. All right, I'm gonna find the key and we'll get the camera flipped around and we will take a look at what we've got. Okay, here we go. So this was Overreach by West Coast Picks and oh, that bidding. I'll tell you, I can definitely feel one wanted to overset incredibly easily. These others, these others were okay. These others were all right, but that that one, if you overset it, I noticed it wanted to, you had to keep it kind of loose. So we've got no modifications to the core or anything, so we'll just set those off to the side. We'll take a look here, what we got going on. So this is the six key pin. Just nice multiple serration work. Five, a little less deep on the serrations. It's gonna give us a little variation. Here's our, uh, okay, that little guy was turned around. Camera's being a little fidgety. Yes, yeah, so we got some little tiny serrations right up there you can see. And we've got pin in pin for a key pin. Those are always cool. Look at that little guy. Is that our overreach? A little tiny serration on him just in case you go too high. Very cool there on this two. And our number one. I like that one. <laughs> I like anything that I I am a fan of the reduced diameter. And this one reduces. And we've got a spool in it. So we come back here to six. Check out this little guy though. Just the tiniest little bit. And you could feel this. Let me tell you, this, uh, I mean, there were no solid, real solid clicks coming off most of this lock. Everything was just a slight nudging. And so that little serration that's on the edge there, it's hard to see it. But 
that was enough that it was catching. And the same with this one. Felt every bit of these last three pins in the lock, every bit of it. Um, I mean, as far as this little part goes. I was kind of expecting a T-pin or something like a Christmas tree, you know, where it's stepped. Got some multiple steps in it. Um, yeah, not surprising at all to see that. Look at that just very, very little bit. Take it off of there. But yeah, I would say this, <laughs> this was doing its job. <laughs> I think this was our last one that we had to nudge. It was either that one or this one. I wasn't sure if I was on two or three at the time. But didn't feel it click up or anything, just it, light enough tension on the core and it just slipped past the shear line and the lock came open. Too much tension, and you could definitely feel it was catching. And there's the number one. Pretty standard, I don't know if he's been worked over or not. He almost looks like he's been cut from something more than that he's been worked over. So I couldn't really get a couple of them to balance in there, um, but I figured we'd just come in and look. We could see how a few of those are cat were catching. This one I was surprised. I thought this one would have sunk a little deeper, but we were definitely getting that that little T pin reduction on him. Then you can see and from you know the key we had looked at. Oops. From the keys bidding. See we've got a few of those just barely need nudged. They still need to be picked, but not a whole lot. Very cool little lock, um, West Coast pick. That was that the feedback on that was very interesting. It was just a little odd. Um, like I said, you weren't really getting these definite clicks um, from like serrations or anything. It was just nudge nudge. Oh, there's a little bit of a turn. Nudge nudge. There's a little bit of a turn. Um, just kind of feeding its way to the open. So there we go, guys. Um, what's going on with the key here? I wonder if that's some kind of marking or just some, oh, it's just some crap from probably when it had been mummified. But we were seeing some kind of, some kind of creation marks there for a moment, but we're not. Um, so yeah, West Coast Picks, Overreach. Thanks for uh, pinning that up. And uh, thank you, Squint, for sending it. All right, guys, you have a good one.